G'day swingers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week, something a little bit different. I did originally film a intro, but I gave away way too much in the intro, so yeah, I've had to redo an intro for this video because I don't want to give away the location that we hit this week. Uh, as you're about to see, it was a cracking location. Uh, me and Ninja both got there just after dark. Uh, the episode from last week that you would have seen, that was from earlier in the day. Uh, we went from that park to another one, spent an hour there, there was, was 20 minutes there, there was not one target. And then we went to this park and absolutely cleaned up. So enjoy this, uh, another cracking session. All right, so as you can see, we're at a new location. And I've just dug my third coin, I think. It was my, I got a $1 and something else. And then I just got myself a rue penny. So there's coins around. It's just a matter of finding them now. Let's keep swinging. All right, I've been texting for a little while now. I just seen it. Where did it go? I got a sixpence. Oh, and it's an early one too. King George V. 1912. You bloody ripper. Nice old sixpence. Hmm. Could be some good coins around after all, considering what I'm digging at the moment. One and two dollar coins. And I've got two cent pieces. Nice bit of silver never goes astray. Let's keep swinging. Right, and deep down in that hole there, as you can see, I just pulled myself a con penny. And this one, 1921, I think. It's hard to see the date on that. Bit of mud rubbed over it. But early coins, I like it. Let's keep swinging. I don't think anyone's detected this park because there's coins everywhere. I mean everywhere. Another dollar. Let's keep swinging. Yeah, I said no one's ever detected this before, and I was definitely right. Look at this. It's got a shilling. 1950 Rams head on the dot. Beauty. So many coins around today. And uh, check this out for an impression. You can definitely tell it was a shilling. Very nice. Swing it on. Let's see what else we can find. All right, another high tone target somewhere in this clump. Unfortunately, I don't have a torch, so this is getting hard to do. And also, my pinpoint is dead. And as you can see, a little one cent piece. Found plenty of those, and stacks of goldies. Let's keep swinging. That's not something I was expecting to find. It's a little bell. Pink bell. And I don't see any way it could be hung off anything. Definitely a bell, of sorts. Let's keep swinging. All right, well I've just found this. No idea what it is. Give me a sec, I'm gonna set these up on the ground and I'll give it a clean. Alrighty, so, let's give this a squirt skin, see what we've got. Looks like it's silver plated. Maybe not even, just something coppery. I don't know what that's meant to be. New tricks. I'll give that a look up later. No idea. Could be a fake nail, could be a guitar pick of sorts, I don't know. Let's keep swinging. Alright, just pulled a coin out. Ah, it's just a rue halfpenny. Not able to see as I don't have a torch, but we got a 1944. Uh, thankfully, I got this light on my camera so I can see what I'm doing. Let's keep swinging. Alrighty, got another halfpenny by the look of it. And uh, this one's a King Edward, sorry, King George V, 1927. All right, we've got a target in here, mid-twenties tone. So I'm just gonna pop in here. Hopefully that'll have it. Yeah, it's going off with my shovel. Where's the target gone? All right, I'm gonna move the shovel. Oh, my pinpoint is dying again. I just changed out the batteries. But I've only got a half dead backup, so nothing special. But just another two cent. Let's keep swinging. Alrighty, in this one, it's got another deep target. Another thir uh, mid 20s to 30s. And this one's just a rue half penny. 
1947. Nice. Plenty of coins around. Just got to keep finding the good ones. Swing it on. Oh yeah, what a patch. So I just got a 2729 target and I just got a flozzer. So for the day, I now have a full house. You bloody ripper. I just need to find a thrip in here to make it a thrip, uh, full house out of here. I dare say it's going to be a 50 percent that is but as you can see there's a definite impression in the ground there King George the sixth so I dare say it's gonna be a 47 <laughs> and there you go 1947 Florin 50% range but I don't mind big silver love those solid 27 29 didn't want to budge from those two numbers let's keep swinging Alright, I've got another coin in here somewhere, or another target. Look at that coin. A little one cent piece. There's so many of them in here. Keep swinging though, because there's a lot of goodies in and around in it. What else is going to come up? Oh, well, i got another mystery clump. Something in it somewhere. I don't see anything visible just yet. There we go. It's like a two cent piece. Yep. Very shiny. Two cent piece out of here. Doesn't look like it's had much corrosion on it at all. Let's keep swinging. Alright, got another kind of surprise in here somewhere. What have we got? I don't know what it is. It was mid tone, mid 20s. And there we go. My full house, baby. Oh yeah. Killing it in here. Went from having no luck earlier today, which you see at the start of this episode, to killing it. In stuff all the time. Absolutely loving it here. 1944 S Mint Mark. You beauty. Just like that, straight out of the ground with a bit of a squirt. This ground's really nice for these coins. Really, really nice. As you can see, with just a squirt, just come up with silver and clean again. Full house, baby! Ah, I love it when I do this to myself. Let's keep swinging, see what else I can find. Still working the same area. And I just pulled out another Commonwealth half penny. This one's a 1914. My great grandmother was born. Nice. Let's keep swinging. Alright, another mystery target. Mid tones. Mid 20s, that is. There we go. It's a one cent again. Let's keep swinging. Alright, well that's different. I believe that's a lump of copper. Uh, pretty sure it is. I'll have to give it a clean up when we get home, but that's solid. It's got some weight to it. And that green blue patina, let's say it's rough, raw copper. Uh, let's keep swinging. Alright, as you can see, just found myself another penny. This one's a. Uh, oh. The 51. Oh, I actually can't read that. I think it says 51, but we'll find out when we get back to ninjas. Swing it on. Got another deep coin. Just down the bottom there. You can see green impression left behind. Got a Commonwealth penny from 1919. It looks like it's been flattened a little bit on maybe the tram track nearby. Sweet. Just keep swinging. So a ninja just come over and he literally just dug a target at my feet here and uh, as you can see he's got a 1920 on the dot English one penny with King George the fifth on the back. Now that's actually pretty interesting. Ah okay so for some reason these coins don't flip vertically like no. that. You've actually got to go the normal way left to right. The head's the right way up. Nice. I'll uh, just show you his wrap up shortly. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, I got myself quite a few coins. I ended up with 46 myself, so quite a few one and two dollar coins, heaps of brown buggers. Uh, I got four half pennies and four pennies, as well as this little weird doodad. Uh, this I'm not sure what it is. I'm thinking it might be a candlestick holder of sorts. 
Uh, there would have been something else attached to here. I'm not too sure. Otherwise, it could be a trigger guard for something. Or even just some sort of hanging hook. But I'm thinking something to do with a candlestick holder. As you can see, it looks really sort of like it's made to fit in there. Obviously, this bend isn't right, but that little pad there looks like a little gri uh, gripper. Uh, as you can see, four silvers for the day. So I got the full house in there. And I'll just grab a couple of coins. So there we go. Full house. So we'll definitely be going back there again. Um, now one thing that's strange, I didn't notice this when I was out there. I found another one of these today. One of these one eeries or whatever they are. One P with the eerie on that side. Uh, this one's a 1961 and the other one was a 1971, uh, so 78. Sorry, this is a 71, and the other one was a 78, so that's pretty interesting. And the weird doodle bell, no way of hanging that off anything, it's perfectly spherical. And <clears throat> Ninja Finds, he managed to get 50 coins in total, so quite a bunch of coins. Two English. Two English, the lucky bugger. I didn't manage to find any, but he got two, which is good. Shows us some good prospects in there. So 1920 variety there. As I said, this one flips side to side. And then, if you see this one, it's a King Edward. Ah, okay, so King Edward does flip the same way as well. The Queen Victoria is definitely flipped vertically though. That's very weird. Uh, but quite a lot of brown buggers. Few pennies. Quite a few pennies. Uh, plenty of half pennies. That, uh, There's a couple Japanese of two buggers. Uh, he's got a Japanese one cent as well. Oh, right there. So, little Japanese one sen, aluminium coin. Pretty cool. And he managed to get himself three silvers in there. So he got the 1927 thrips, both of them. Which is a bit strange to find the same year. And he got himself a flozzer as well. 1947 variety as well. 50 metres apart as well. Yeah, that's pretty trippy. Yeah. Um, got this, which I think has something to do with the purse. I'm not too sure. Ninja was thinking shoe buckle frame, but I think it's a bit thin for that. Mm. But yeah, okay. who knows? It looks like a bit of silver plating there, actually, right in the corner. And he found himself a light switch, an old school one. So, pretty interesting. And uh, this one got him going. But unfortunately, it's nothing special. It's a bottle cap. But oh well, you gotta dig it all. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Good luck and happy swinging. Salada.